Let g of x be the integral from x to 3x of the square root of sine t dt with domain the interval from 0 to pi on 3. Find g dashed of pi on 6. Well, it says to find the derivative of g at pi on 6, so I might as well find the derivative of g for any x first and use that formula. And there's a theorem to deal with functions that are written as integrals and how to differentiate them. And the theorem looks like this. It says d on dx of the integral from a to x of f of t dt is equal to f of x. The idea being that I can just get this x and put it into my formula here instead of t and that produces the answer for the derivative. Alright, so let me write down g of x and see if we can use this theorem. g of x is equal to the integral from x to 3x of the square root of sine t dt. So it's quite close but I do have a couple of problems. Up here in my theorem I have a number at the bottom and not an x, so that's a problem. And the other problem is up here in my theorem I've got an x at the top and not a 3x. So I'm going to have to deal with that by hopefully rewriting my gx in a form that means I can use my theorem. Alright, well let me just draw a quick diagram of a general function and see if I can do it. So there's a function and here's x and here's 3x and my function is the area from x to 3x. Well what I want to write it as is something from a number up to x or a number up to 3x. If I pick 0 which is where my domain started over here then I could do the integral from 0 to 3x which would be all of this. All of the bit that's coloured in is the integral from 0 to 3x but if I take off the bit from 0 to x that will leave me with the bit from x to 3x. So what I actually want to do is I want to do the integral from 0 to 3x minus the integral from 0 to x. Let's write that down. So this would be equal to the integral from 0 to 3x of the square root of sine t dt minus the integral from 0 to x of the square root of sine t dt. Now this integral just here I can do straight using my formula. So let's do that integral. g dashed x would be equal to and this bit over here is just the square root of sine x. See I just put my x from here directly into my formula and it tells me the derivative. So that's that part. So now I need to calculate the derivative of this bit. Now my theorem says I need to have a number at the bottom which I have but it also says I need to have an x at the top which I don't have. I have a 3x. But that is okay because I can use the chain rule. You see I have a function of x which has something other than x inside it it has a formula inside it. I have a function of a function and to do that, that's the chain rule. All of this stuff here that's just a function and I know what the derivative of that function is. The derivative of that function is the square root of sine x. Only I haven't got x, I've got 3x. So now I've done the derivative of the outside the derivative of the inside is the derivative of 3x, which is 3. So again, I differentiated the outside, which was this bit here. That's the outside there, and I differentiated it to get the square root of sine x. But instead of x, I've got 3x. And then I had to multiply by the derivative of 3x. So here's 3x, and here's the derivative of 3x here. So I had to just use the chain rule to differentiate that thing. So that's finally the derivative of this part. Now I just need to put uh, pi on 6 in it to find g dash pi on 6. So that would be 3, the square root of sine 3 times pi on 6. 
minus the square root of sine pi on 6. So this is equal to 3 times the square root of sine pi on 2 minus the square root of sine pi on 6. And sine pi on 2 is 1. And sine pi on 6 is a half. So this is equal to 3 minus 1 on root 2. And that's my final answer.